Hi everybody, I'm making a short video on uh, the transients in RL circuits in DC circuits. Uh, before I start explaining this um, topic, I'd like to review the fundamental equations of L. Okay. Um, L if the voltage across L is equal VL and the current IL so the relationship between the voltage and the current across L is given by the differential equation VL is equal L DI by DT and if you want to find the energy stored in L it will be equal to half L I square I mean just I mean to revise with you the difference between this and the capacitor just let's do the capacitor next to it that the capacitor C if the voltage across the capacitor is VC and the current in the capacitor is IC so the relationship between the current in the capacitor and the voltage in the capacitor IC is equal CDVC by DT and the energy stored in the capacitor is equal one half C VC square so just I mean it's a fast recoil. Uh, another thing that we can hear air steady state air steady state what's happening here or here air steady state it means uh, in, with, with DC I is constant so DI by DT is equal zero so VL will be equal zero when the voltage is equal zero we call it short circuit what does it mean short circuit it means that the L at steady state can be replaced by just a wire connected together like that in the capacitor at steady state when you are working with DC it means constant value so it means VC is equal constant so dvc by dt will be equal zero so the current in the capacitor will be equal zero at steady state with dc circuits what does it mean this circuit means that the capacitor can be replaced by open circuit just you open it you remove it from the circuit so uh, another thing the voltage in the capacitor cannot change suddenly or arbitrarily it just has to be smooth like if you have a voltage here VC1 if you have voltage VC2 it should take time but if you see something like that that's wrong the voltage cannot change like that the current can yes the current yes the current the capacitor can change from IC1 to IC2 but the voltage no for the inductor it's different it's the opposite the current cannot change instantaneously but the current it takes time so if you have IL1 and you have IL2 two levels it just takes time the voltage can the voltage can jump it's okay no problem so that's a, a fast revision for it. now we'll just go ahead for the analysis of our L circuit uh, to start I mean let's have a simple circuit uh, to write the differential equation if you have a resistance R and you have L inductor L and you have a voltage source Vs so the current will be through the circuit the same I in the resistance is the same I in the inductor to find the differential equation of this system you write Kirchhoff voltage law Kirchhoff voltage law Vs of course if the current in this direction that's positive that's negative so Vs minus the voltage across the resistance which is Ri minus the voltage across the inductor would be equal zero we know that the voltage across the inductor is equal L di by dt so Vs minus Ri minus L di by dt is equal zero let's arrange this equation L di by dt plus Ri is equal Vs 
You see, it's a differential equation, but not in a standard form. Why? Because I has something in front of it. it has to be one coefficient one. So divide everything by R. So you have L divided by R di by dt plus i equal vs by r. This look like the standard differential equation first order to explain in the other lecture. So that would be called tau. So tau di by dt plus i is equal vs over r. It's okay. Sometimes you can call it is. So that's the form. Now, if you want to write the solution, just use the standard form solution. The current i of t is equal. The initial condition, i0, e minus t over tau plus the constant is 1 minus e power minus t over tau. You got to know here, I mean, the tau is equal L over R. Just to remind you, the tau for the capacitor R times C, okay? So that would be the solution. And if you sketch it, it'd be a normal exponential rise. You start from I0, and that's your steady state IS you want to reach. It will go exponential like that. So that will be the solution. Uh, now let's take an example. We have a circuit has inductor. It's equal to two Henry and resistance two ohm and switch. has two position that's the first position 38 ohm power supply 20 volt and in position 2 we have resistance 8 ohm and a power supply 40 voltage uh, what's said here that the switch was in position one for long time then it was changed to position two find the current and the voltage across the inductor at t 5 millisecond anything so that's a question like that how you solve it okay first we'll look for the first position position one for long time means like to, there was a steady state in this position so I will sketch the circuit and the switch at one uh, you will have 2 ohm and you got 2 Henry and 38 ohm and power supply 20 voltage don't try to write the differential equation why I'm saying that? Because it was mentioned that it was a state for long time. Long time it means steady state. And at steady state, the inductor behaves like a short circuit. So it can put like a wire on it. When you put wire in it, so this one doesn't exist. There's a wire. The current will go through the wire. It's still there, but behaves like a wire. And now the current will go in this direction. So what is the current? The current would be equal to 20 voltage divided by the total resistance 2 plus 38 would be equal to 20 voltage over 40 ohm 
that will be equal to half ampere. So the current was one ampere after a long time. Not, not in the beginning was zero. Before you flip the switch on, it was zero. So I mean, when you flip it now, it's after a long time, it will be half ampere. Now the switching will go to the other direction from one to two. From one to two, just let's remember you have the, you have the inductor has inductance equal to 2 Henry, 2 ohm, 8 ohm, 4 volts. So you got uh, 2 ohm and 8 ohm inductor equal to 2 Henry and power supply equal to 40 volts. It's close, but didn't say for a long time. They ask about finding the current and the voltage across the capacitor uh, after 5 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds. So you need to find the differential equation of this one. So how the current will go, will go like that. Okay, that's the new current, right? So let's write the differential equation. Yes, write differential equation. Um, first, this resistance 2 and 8 will be... 10, so R is equal 10 ohm, L is equal 2H, so tau is equal L over R, 2 Henry divided by 10 ohm, so it would be equal to 1 over 5 seconds, 0.2 second. That's your tau. Initial condition. Because we need, I mean, to solve any differential equation, we need three things. If remember, we need tau, we need the initial condition, it means I0. I0, it means, I mean, before you close the switch, how much current was stored in this inductor? You go in the previous case, because it was closed a long time, the current was half ampere. You have to look at something. You look for the magnitude and for the direction. The current was going in this direction. And in the new circuit in the same direction, so it will be equal to positive one half ampere. Somebody's asking what happened if you have the current in this circuit was like in the other direction, but negative. Because this is your reference. The last position is your reference. Use it as a reference, okay? So that's half ampere. So now you know the initial conditions equal half ampere. What about the final, the final value I say still? Well, I mean, it's easy because we mentioned before that to find the steady state, you have to make short circuit on the 2H on the inductance. So if you make short circuit here, so the current will go from the source to the resistance to the wire. So you divide 40 by 10 ohm. Okay, so as steady state, IS is equal 40 m voltage divided by 2 plus 8. 40 voltage by 10 ohm is equal 4 ampere. That's your IS. Actually, you don't have to write the differential equation. But if you ask, you can write. But you're asking about the response. So you write it directly. I of T is equal initial, which is 0.5 ampere. E minus T over tau. Tau is 0.2. You know, I mean, I, 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 2 over 10, it means... 2 over 10, it means 1 over 5. So 1 over tau would be 5. You know, I, mean, I, I, I like, um, I don't like fraction. So I'll just write it E minus 5T plus IS, IS equal 4 ampere, 1 minus E power minus 5T. And that would be the equation for the current at any time. If we ask, find the time after two seconds, for example, so let's just put it here in the exam, at t, two seconds. You substitute by t equal to. So i of two is equal 0.5 e minus 10 plus 4, 1 minus e minus 10. And you substitute and get it. So that was, I mean, the good example, I mean, explain, I mean, both of them. Uh, Let's now take another example for how to calculate that time constant in some complex circuit. All right. Example two. 
circuit is given already. Now, I mean, we want to find the, the tau and find the current and the inductor and everything. I mean, you cannot find here the R easily because there are series in parallel. So what you're supposed to do, use thefinin. Thefinin is just this cut this load, separate from the network. So now the network that you have, 8 ohm, call it this terminal A and terminal B, 6 ohm, 3 ohm and a power supply. Well, let's say it's 18 voltage. So first you want to find the voltage across the terminal AB. So what's the voltage here? Uh, when you look at it, you find that this 8 ohm resistor, I'm not connected. This loop is not closed. So there is no current go here. So if no current go here, so this A will be here. Why? Because, I mean, the volt, if the voltage here, for example, 10 voltage, here will be 10 volts. Why? Because the current is equal to zero, the drop will be equal to zero. So make it easy and simple. So now we can make it like that. 3 ohm, 6 ohm, 18 voltage. So what is the voltage across AB here? I will say VAB is equal to the total voltage, 18 voltage time the resistance across the voltage 6 ohm divided by the total resistance 3 plus 6 means equal 18 times 6 divided by 9 by 9 is 1 by 9 is 2 2 times 6 is equal 12 so the voltage here equal 12 so you write the V7 is equal 12 voltage and keep it you still have to find the equivalent resistance using the same circuit here without inserting the inductor what how can you find in the said so kill the old sources to kill the voltage source you make it zero it means make short circuit so i will sketch it again with short circuit so that's short circuit replacing the supply you got the resistance three ohm oops okay let's just let's let's do it in bigger space so we have three ohm oops. What's the problem here? 3 ohm resistance. Our supply short circuit. Let me go back. And then you got 8 and 6. 8 ohm. 6 ohm. That's your terminal AB. Then you look here to find the equivalent. Definite. So this resistance, 3 ohm and 6 ohm, they are in parallel. So the R thefinin is equal to 3 and 6 will be in parallel in series with 8 ohm. 3 and 6 in parallel will be like 3 times 6 over 3 plus 6. Uh, <clears throat> that will be 3 times 6 over 9 by 3 is uh, 3 by 3 is 2, so 2 ohm. So the equivalent of these two resistance is 2 ohm. So R thefinin will be equal 2 ohm plus 8 ohm will be equal 10 ohm. So you got the resistance, equivalent resistance, and you got the equivalent voltage. Now, you can have your circuit, the simple one, V7, which is equal to 12 voltage, calculate it, and then the R is equal to 10 ohm. And now we can go ahead and insert the inductor, which was 2 Henry, 2 Henry. Now we can do everything, any question, you can solve it like that. Good, this is the circuit that we used to do it in the beginning. So for example, I mean the tau is equal L over R, L is equal 2, R is equal 10, so it's equal 0.2. Okay, 2 over 10, 1 over 5 second. Okay, what do you need else? You need IS, IS, the C state will be the voltage on divided by the resistance only with 12 divided 12 voltage divided by 10 ohm will be equal to 1.2 ampere so if you want to write the equation or the response let's write the response i of t 
is equal. They didn't mention anything about the initial condition, so I'll assume B0. So it'll be IS directly 1.2 times 1 minus E minus T over tau, which is 5T. And it's done. Uh, I hope that uh, understood, and you can go ahead and solve your homework. Thank you for your attention.